when I first got to Milwaukee, uh, I was terrified. I didn't know anybody. I was really shy. UWM really brought me out of my shell. My name is Leah Letson. I'm graduating with a criminal justice and psychology degree with a minor in sociology. I've been in Taekwondo since I was five years old. And so when I got to UW Milwaukee, I wanted to find another martial art that I could get into. The sport and rec department offered jujitsu and mixed martial arts. So I decided why not try it while I'm here. I absolutely fell in love with the sport. Winning my first fight, the experience was amazing and as soon as I walked out of the cage I knew for sure that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, for as long as I could do it. <laughs> I've always been interested in making a difference and making a contribution to my country. I'm in the Wisconsin Air National Guard and I am a surveillance technician. I'm really proud that I can serve my country. Graduation means a lot to me because I am the first person in my immediate family to graduate from college with the military and fighting and everything going on outside of school, it means a lot that I was able to accomplish two majors. UWM has been the place that has really transformed me from the young, shy 18-year-old into the adult airman, professional athlete, and role model I am today. It's good to be alive, right about now. Girl, over to page two. What I really love so about fun. the idea of being a teacher, it's those small moments where you're helping out a student and they finally get it. That's definitely the most rewarding thing. I'm Tim Steen. I'm a secondary education major at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. My first day student teaching at Alexander Hamilton High School. I was definitely nervous to some extent. But at the same time, for me, that represented the beginning of my final year of myself being a student. It kind of marked the last part of the journey before I move on and, you know, become a professional myself. Most likely I'm going to stay here in Milwaukee. My expectation is I'll find a job in MPS. I grew up going to MPS schools all my life, so I guess I kind of feel like this is a way I can maybe give back to the community that I was raised in. You know, I was for a long time working 40 hours a week, paying for a lot of schooling myself. Scholarships makes this whole experience possible for a lot of people. And it provides the type of assistance that is necessary to allow people to pursue some of these higher goals that they have. For me, graduating, it represents being able to do something not only that I think I can do well, but something I can enjoy. So what is Go get daddy, go get daddy, go get daddy. Okay. <laughs> so balancing full-time job, being a dad, work and school, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot on my plate. We've got four kids. <laughs> my name is Brian Weichelt and I'm working on my PhD in biomedical and health informatics. UWM's been fantastic. I know I'm three hours away from campus, but I was excited to be able to join a, you know, nationally renowned program and uh, do research at UWM while still working at Marshfield Clinic. Um, I was fortunate that I was able to finish up a lot of the coursework um, for this particular program right before the boys were born. Then we took them home. About 10 days later, they started acting a little differently. They went through a period of tests that, that kind of drug on for the next two months. They were positive uh, for human paracovirus type 3. There's no treatment for it, no vaccination. I spent a lot of time in the hospital during that period. It was like a, a short-term internship as well. It was a great learning experience. As, as bad of an experience as it was, it was, it was good for me to to soak that in and then I ended up using some of that in my dissertation work and it certainly framed um, who I am and why I chose to do research the way I did. The outlook is kind of unknown at this point. They're very different where they're at and uh, we're trying to just kind of celebrate those, those little milestones as they go. The ability to finish the SACTOR program in spite of everything else going on in my life um, I don't know if it's so much a testament to me, but uh, it's certainly uh, a testament to my wife and the sacrifices she made along the way. We always thought the year in Iraq would be the hardest time for our family. So the flexibility um, of UWM and working with my advisor and uh, committee on the project was fantastic. Yeah.